everyone, good evening. Uh, we're Tuesday, the 4th of August now, and welcome to another of Sands Film Cinema Club online. I've got so many things to say tonight, I hope I'm not going to forget half of them. Um, first thing I'd like to say is last week we screened uh, La Maternelle. Uh, filmed by Mary Epstein, and I'm very excited to report that um, that this film has had more than 500 views. This is very exciting because um, one of the reasons of showing the film was that Mary Epstein has been eclipsed from the history of cinema, and I am very pleased and proud that the uh, the film club has been the opportunity of so many people seeing it, and I've had many um, uh, messages about the film, which I find very exciting. Um, and in a way, I hope that tonight we'll do it again. Uh, Shimizu is a Japanese film director which, who is also uh, much uh, forgotten. Um, and I hope that uh, tonight's screening will be the opportunity for um, a wider audience to discover his wonderful style and his wonderful work. So who is Shimizu? Um, Shimizu is a Japanese film director who is an exact contemporary of Ozu, the other great uh, Japanese master. Um, they born the same year, uh, they uh, work at, at Soshiku uh, Film Studio at the same time, they start uh, in, in, in the 1920s, in the early 20s, uh, they're the same age and they both start uh, making film at the same time. And they're both extraordinarily prolific. Um, Shimizu was, on, if you look on IMDb, I think he's got something like 170 direction credits. Uh, some of those are shorts, but even if you allow for the shorts, you, you end up with about 140 uh, da a film directed by him uh, and some 80 scripts it's a huge uh, amount of work the same thing applies to Ozu for that matter but um, that connection between Ozu and Shimizu is completely it, it's the only thing that they have in common I mean apart from the fact they were friends um, because they are completely the opposite of each other uh, where Ozu would be uh, static and looking towards a kind of nostalgia of the past. Um, uh, Shimizu is on the contrary very mobile and always optimistic about the future and looking ahead. Um, where Ozu would prepare his film meticulously and uh, have very involved scripts and uh, work in uh, on sets in a studio uh, with professional actors. Shimizu would be quite rough with his scripts, um, go on location, improvise and use non-professional actors. Um, where Ozu would be set bound in one location, um, Shimizu would like to do road movies. Um, I've shown at the film club, uh, for instance, um, Mr. Thank You. It was a typical a silent film, but it's a typical Shimizu film in the sense it's actually um, about a bus driver and it's following him on his uh, back and forth travel. And the whole drama is through him driving uh, the road. Typical Shimizu uh, setting, if you like. Um, and in a way, the film of tonight is also a road movie in that sense. So, the film of tonight, I need to explain a bit more because, uh, again, I mean, obviously the, the print I'm going to show you is an old print. It's not very well translated and it, uh, it may need to put a few things in context. Um, first of all, it's 1948 and is the first film that Shimizu did after the war. And it's about a demobilized soldier. The demobilization uh, was a traumatic uh, thing for, obviously for Japan, but for 
a lot of many films, in, including Europe, are about the mob soldiers coming home on their journey home and so on and so forth. This one, uh, this, the going home of this particular soldier is uh, stammered from the beginning. You see, he's static, he stays, he's got nowhere to go. And the reason he's got nowhere to go is because he is already an orphan. He was an orphan, he was an orphan before the war. Um, I, I don't think there is this, uh, it's, a, it's a spoiler to say it. It's, I think it's worth saying it right now because the film doesn't make it very clear and it's the translation so uh, hints at it only later on in the film. And the road movie starts when he encounters war orphans uh, in the station where he arrives and he starts the journey and the journey is going to his home, his orphanage, and taking all those kids with him to that orphanage. Now, the reason I mentioned it is because Shimizu himself had done, in his you know, huge number of films before the war, had made a number of films about children and about children issues. And one of them, The Introspection Tower, is a film about an orphanage or um, at least a home for delinquent children. But it's run uh, with so very liberal and very modern cons concepts of um, democracy, of, of community decisions, of community involvement and aspiring to a more liberal world, to a more free world, to a more uh, uh, communal world. I'm hesitating in the world because the influence to, you know, on the one hand you could obviously um, see similarity in the aspiration of all the left-wing movements of that period, uh, the, obviously the Soviet Russia, but also the uh, Chinese Revolution, since we are in the Far East. But it's also influenced as it is, as it was then, by uh, Catholic backgrounds and more religious background. I've shown the film just before the lockdown of We Are Coming, which is a, a Yiddish film of the 1930s about the organisation of a sanitarium for children from uh, Warsaw who needs uh, better health, better education, better food, better uh, motivation to get to live together. And... Uh, important to mention um, the uh, Father Flanagan uh, involvement and influence at that period, who also uh, had created famously Boys Town. Uh, Boys Town had been the object of a film in 1938 with Spencer Tracy. The film had had Oscars and uh, Father Flanagan had in his uh, aspiration to a better way to deal with orphans, with um, people who need help and support, had developed a huge fame. And he had met uh, Shimizu, and, uh, and the reason I give all this background is that Shimizu himself, after the war, created an orphanage for uh, war orphans, probably influenced by liberal ideas, call them Catholic, call them communists, it doesn't matter, is the fact that he uh, created uh, uh, an orphanage. And the children you're about to see in the film are war orphans, but there are also children who, are, um, who belong to the beehive, which is the orphanage that uh, Shimizu created. And so children of the beehive relates to uh, the reality that uh, Shimizu had created, um, which is uh, this home for children, and they are the children who feature in the film you are now going to see. So, welcome to the Children of Beehive. I'll start the film now.
おきにありがとうはいありがとうこれがないんだろううんおじさん九州帰んのかい九州なぜだって東京駅に乗らなかったじゃないかうんどこへ行こうかと思って考えていたんだよ考えてる行くところがないんだよなぜ俺も坊やたちと一緒なんだよ繊細なグレー公開繊細じゃないがただのグレーだったんだよじゃあおじさん俺たちの先輩だね先輩うんそういうことになるかなあ坊や知ってるかい二階の塔っていう映画二階の塔見なかったなそうかもうずいぶん前の映画だからな二階の塔っていう三階のようなところなんだよこのおじさんそこにいてそっから戦争に行ったんだよだから帰る家がないんだよじゃあここにいればいいや行けばいいぜそのついは気さらなかだじゃあおじさんも当分ここに厄介になるかな普通やきは難しいかいダメだよこの頃は下たっぱけ多いんだものじゃあ他に何かあるかいおじきに引き合わせてやろうかいろいろあるよいろいろってなんだい汽車の切符買うんだって行列の場所取りだって闇屋の手伝いだってまだあるかいタバコ運だってあるわもうないかいまだあるさ何がおいお前専門だいいよ知らねえよアホって言ったわねもうお金しんどいないのええこれ番してちょうだいね頼むわよお願いしますおーい信号出すとこばあちゃんがおいこれ番しとけよおじさん頼むよはいいいよバラしたって本当かバラしてるじゃんかついプチン出ちゃったんだよ何とでもしてくれてめえの気がすんねえしろフロアーだフロアーだおじきえフロアーだおいみんな早くにみろしんちゃん風呂前だね早く来いよそこへついてくれ俺面白くないから捕まった方がいいや何言ってるんだ早く来いよおやさぎだよそのカレーとうんとおんぶしてやるよその手にはならないよ白状だなあ,あやっぱりそうだいいだのかい来ちゃったんだ
けで危ねえから途中で降りちゃったんだよ。こうなったら捕まっちゃったよ。あいつらいつも要領が悪いんだよ。これはいつも大きなこと言ってるけど行く気がねえのさ。いつもなんかこれだよな。うん。今度のフロアにとても出会わなかったな。どこへ行くつもりなんだよ。俺一人ならどこへだって行けるさ。あのお荷物持て余してるんだよ。あれだからね。海洋船は危ないぜ。四国へ渡ろうと思ってるんだけど。四国いいかい？いいか悪いか言ってみりゃわかるよ。ねえ、あいつたらみたいんだよね。材木積み込みデザートと本当かい？うん、そういうことになってんだけど。その時はその時で要領くやらいいよ。郵便はどこへ隠れたんだい？海を潜って行ったんだけど、青年やろう、かわいそうに、もういで、ごめんなさい。今度ばかりは俺も、あを食ったよ。この前の時もあを食ったじゃないか。名前言うない。このご異性に白い飯ばかり食ってられねえや。たまにはあだって、クーさん。おいおい、あれこの間のおじさんじゃねえか。え、おじさん？どれどれどれ。あ、そうだ。おいさん、どうしてもらいよ。その代わり材木の積み込み手伝うんだぜ。じゃあ乗してもらおうかな。ああしょ。よいしょ。おいさん、何だって汽車に乗らないんで歩くんだい。福井さんどこ行くんだって汽車ただじゃないか。な、うんそうだ。犬も歩けば棒に当たる。いいとこがあったらそこをついて働くつもりだよ。お前たちどうしたんだい。辛かったんだよ。フロアがあったから。こんなのフロアとても手がいわ。それでお前たちどこへ行くつもりなんだい。四国へ渡ろうと思ってるんだけど。四国へ。そんなに遠くへ行けんのかい。どこへだって行けるさ。大阪だって東京だってな。うん。俺東京まだ知らねえや。まだ知らねえのか。俺仙台だって青森だって知ってら、青森リンゴ安いで。なあ、うん安いと思う。俺ミット買って、金沢の闇市でミット高く売ってやった。行こうか。リンゴ買いに。もうダメだよ。どこの駅でも手荒くうるせえから。お前たちどこで仙台にあったんだい？俺大阪や。俺和歌山だよ。お前は？俺も大阪や。俺は行き上げだけど、あれ広島だよ。航空号は潜り込んでいたんだよ、こいつ。サイパンから逃げ出して船が沈没しちゃったんだよ、なあ。うん。お母ちゃん死んじゃった。そうか。それはかわいそうだな。天才こいってずいぶんできたんだろうな。いるよ。ずいぶんいるぜ。家の名刺なんかいっぱいだぜ。大阪の近くとかでようけいるわ。なあ。いっぱいだ。うるせえな。のんびり寝られないしね。少しいないしね。あ、おぎ。福井さんですか。どうもご苦労さんです。町がありますよ。福井さん、よく当てがないんだって。神戸行きましょう神戸。足なんだ。今神戸だって。これで神戸行きゃ。こんなじゃり相手にしなくったって。もっと綺麗なとこ使って。左道なんだ。ちょっとした分けがあって、こんな田舎回りしてるんだ。神戸行きましょう神戸。え？
のに出たねえかおいしょうがないやつだなよし俺が行って取って行ってやろう、うん、おい待て野郎どもいっぱい引っ掛けやがったな僕一人で働きます福井さんに手伝ってもらって気になるかな手伝ってやろうかうん俺たちも手伝うよ。うん、頼むよ。いさつまいもこれだけじゃ分が悪いや仕方がないよとはやのしてもらったんだから闇屋の手伝いした方がよっぽど分がいいやいくら分がよくったって俺は闇屋の手伝いはしたくないねうまいこのさつまいもうまいやこのさつまいもがうまいんじゃないんだよ一生懸命働いたからうまいんだよおい、お前も来てさつまいも食えよはーいおじさんあいつら働かないよなあうんだって腹減ったろ働かないやつに食わすことあるもんか働かないやつに食わしたってうまいはずないよそうかつまいもなんか食いたくあるもんかおい、出せよ、うん、あ、柿だなパクってきやがった
こんなとこにいたのか。ゆうべはどこへとやったんだい札は貼ってたあかへんわ。おにぎり一つはつけへん。じゃあ、腹へ行ったろ。まだ芋が残ってるんだろ。
姉ちゃんこんなとこ何してたんだい台湾にいる時ちょっと知ってる人思い出したもんだから訪ねてきたんだけどこの向こうの島の親類にいるんだって姉ちゃん島へ行くのええマーシンちゃん相変わらず真っ黒な顔して。鼻かみなさいよもう一つ俺も島行きたいな連れてってあげたいんだけど姉ちゃんだってどうなんかわかんないんですもん。じゃあまた今まで送ってやろうかねえご苦労ご苦労今一本ありがとうさっきの話の沿線の方へすぐ行ってみなさい有川の山地からといったら悪いようにはしないからどうもありがとうございますすぐ行ってみますあ、金がやってきったおーい姉ちゃんもこの島行くんだってさ。まああんたたちもいたの姉ちゃんどこ行くのあの島。船のみたいな。連れてってあげたいんだけど。そうじゃないねえよ。来たならヘロカッパなんだわな。さよなら。
働くんだぞ働くんだじゃあついてこいおじさんあれついてくるけどどうするのいいだろう働きたいやつは誰でもついてこいおーいみんなかーいはじのくはじのこすすすすあさからどんなにまたかたけあさからはらえおつかい
ってみな。早くやってみな。みんなもやってみな。お前もやってみな。掛け算か。今は掛け算知らんわ。掛け算知らねえのか。じゃあこの引き算やってみな。今は引き算知らんわ。じゃあ足してやってみな。足し算も知らんわ。しょうがねえな。俺三席台やったんよ。じゃあ何が好きだったんだよ。俺が国台やったんよ。しょうがねえな。ないものは手を挙げて。なんだい。結局みんな吸わないじゃないか。それにタバコの煙があってのおかしいじゃないか。さあ、吸ったものは吸ったと言った方がいいよ。吸ったものは吸ったと。白状したってお医者さん怒りもどうもしやしないよ。これから吸わないと約束したいんだ。お医者さんもこれからタバコは吸わないよ。タバコを吸うこともいけないが、吸ったのに吸わないと嘘をつくことの方がもっといけない悪いことなんだよ。誰だ？誰だ使わないと約束できるね。
んだよ立派なもんだどこ行くんだい上から別府へ行くんだよこれ持っていけよありがとう元気でいけよないような子供にならなきゃいけないよ。わかるからなお後の仕事もこれに書いてあるから向こうへ行ってよく頼んでみなさいあどうもありがとうございましたありがとう
Я живой, Найка. Он ведь он дождь, да? ここへ来たって無駄だと思ったんだけどなんとなく来てみないと気が済まなかったのイーセーター来てるじゃないかさてゴッチャになっちゃったなおみかんからですさあおみかおおきにはい僕もですかええどうぞまだ酸っぱい
Ой, Игорь, почему?
が敵になってきたぜすぐ飲むかいうん俺も病気になりたいな何でもいいよあほいえお前病気やで村行って海見えたかい村行ったかで海見えへんあの山の上行ったら見えるわ海みたいな病気になったら山のてっぺん行ってみたらええやないかねえその父飲んでいいから山に連れて行ってくれよあほいえお前タイプやで大丈夫だよ連れて行ってくれよその代わり山の上まで歩いていけへんよ。おぶって行ってくれよ。えおぶって夢見たら病気きっと治っちゃうんだがな。あかんかん。おじさんに怒られるわ。おぶって行ってくれりゃいいんだがな。てっぺんから海がよう見えるわ。海みたいな。ねえ、お願いだから連れて行ってくれよ。これみんな飲んでいいよ。お前、ほんまに海見たら治るのか。治るよ、きっと治るよ、ほんまか。そんならおじさんないしやで。これにでまく汚れるわあ、ほんま大きにおい、早くせやしっかり捕まってや
柴吉勝年齢は10歳原石はさあ裁判から引き上げてきたということだけは分かっているんですが引き上げ者ですね引き上げ者のほとんどが栄養障害と言っていいですね引き上げの孤児ですほう孤児ですかかわいそうに母親は引き上げの途中海で死んだらしいんですようんそうですかそれでいつも海を見るとお母さんお母さんと呼んでいたんですが今日も海を見たい見たいと言ってあの山へよじ登ったんですよ悪いよ<笑>俺が悪いよ山のてっぺんのったら何が見えたんだかいやしもいやしもおめえめえもうやしもは何を言わへんの<笑>登って海も見ずに<笑>これを役場へ届けてください。もう出かけるよお前のハーキきっとお姉さんに届けてやるからね今度はお姉さんを連れてきてやるよじゃあさようならあ、俺も飲んじゃった。
、俺たち今日からまた歩き出すんだけど、お前が海を見て、お母さん、お母ちゃんと呼ぶように、俺たち山を見たら、よしぼう、よしぼうって呼ぶから、その時は大きな声で返事してくれよ。じゃあ、よしぼう、さようなら。お前もさよならするといいや。腕一番におかかれるんや。よしもそうでねえや。<笑>
Ona şey arkala! Koy koy! seen Children of the Beehive, um, a very uplifting ending, a very um, beautiful ending, uh, with an ex extraordinary, it's not just hope for the future, it's also massive generosity. The, the last few frames where uh, the old man with the, you know, the, the, the stick, the, the man who was exploiting the children in the station right at the beginning of the film, is ultimately being called by the children of the orphanage and they are going to extend their help, their love, their uh, looking after even this utter bastard who was exploiting them earlier on. So it's very, um, it's very uh, uplifting and it's typical Shimizu uh, vision of the future, it's got to be better um, and, uh, and a sort of wanting to go forward to something better. I mean, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Anyway, um, of course, the reason I've screened this film tonight is not just because I want to make sure that people know about Shimizu as a film director, but this week is also uh, the anniversary, the 75th anniversary of the bombing, uh, the atomic bombing of Japan. In the film, you will have seen that the children visit Hiroshima. Um, the censor in Japan slightly watered down um, the intention of the director in, in respect of Hiroshima, um, in as much that they didn't want um, to show Hiroshima just as a, 
they wanted it to have a more um they wanted to pass on the fact that it had been done only as a last resource and all that and all that anyway it doesn't matter in the film i think shimizu does a wonderful job of mentioning hiroshima without uh doing the the, the sort of corny things the mere fact that that scene is set in a cemetery uh tells it all um the because it's the 75th anniversary of the bombing of Japan this week we will have we we invite you to join us again uh on Thursday night and on Sunday night so Thursday night is the anniversary of uh Hiroshima and uh, Sunday night is the anniversary of Nagasaki um those events are going to be live performance taking place here on the stage um there will be uh, an actor Michael Mears there'll be um a musician there'll be it's it, they're very simple things but i think i would love it if you can join us uh if you are able to make donations and um, and you know support financial support for those events um uh be assured that the money will go first and foremost to the performers and then if we raise more money it'll go to CND and to generally to peace movements uh rather than just us um and um so with this uh thank you there's a lot more to say but I'm already talking too much so i um wish you a good night and see you next week good night